Hello and welcome back to the Team TS6M. On the receive side of this now. There's a few more adjustments on the receive. It's a bit more conventional. It appears to have a true auto squelch. I've set the squelch to minimum while we just set up this. T1 is our first port of call on the receiver alignment. T1. Just change tools, that feels like the wrong one. Okay, having to select a different tool to usual uh, out of the Farnell uh, 312 kit of trimming tools. It's a plastic one. We heard we've gained a little bit on that. So I'm going to drop the attenuator. We're currently at 0 0.3 of a microvolt. So dropping it to 0 Not point one of a microvolt. Very sensitive. Certainly up to the Amstrad standard. Put those tools away, otherwise we'll lose them. Right, we'll set the signal generator for an S9 equivalent, which is 100 microvolts. And presumably T6 is the detector. No, it's not. We'll come back to that. It must be T. That's T6. It must have been T5 I adjusted. And that's not performing how I'd expect either. I'll just turn the volume up slightly. Yes, it was T, uh, T5. There we are, I was receiving virtually off the clock on my test instrument there. Right, the next thing to do, as I said before, it appears that the S meter adjustment isn't adjustable. That's S9, it's just showing plus 30. And it must be set like that at the factory. Certainly can't spot it in the photocopied the circuit work diagram we've got. Okay, so the thing to do next is the squelch. And the squelch will set as usual. Turn the signal generator off, squelch the threshold, generator back on, and it comes in beautifully at 0.3 of a microvolt. Advance the squelch on the radio to full. And then adjust the signal, uh, the attenuator on the signal generator. And it comes in around about plus 30, which is ideal. If it needed adjusting, it's W2, the preset behind the uh, ceramic filter is W2. So that is squelch. Now auto squelch appears really to be auto squelch, it's not preset squelch. And it's a matter of turning the squelch control anti-clockwise until it makes this noise. 
So we had two electronic pips there. It now tells us we're in auto squelch mode. If I turn off the signal generator, the squelch comes in. If I turn it back on, the squelch doesn't quite come in. Set it to one microvolt, attenuate, and the hysteresis on that works beautifully. So that looks quite impressive. So that is it. There's nothing more I can suggest on adjustment. So we've got a little bit more out of the um, receiver with the very uh, careful adjustment of the, um, the transformers there. Just brought the detector up and the squelch is the preset behind there. And that's all I can say without a full service manual on the team TS6M. What we'll now do is, well later on we'll do an on the air test and uh, we'll see how it performs when we plug it into the aerial.